Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for Beer Geek Nation. Um, I wanted to do another little editorial since you guys seem to dig these about something I've been thinking about and kind of experiencing now um, for the last year and a half or so. Uh, and it's the divide in craft beer amongst the craft beer uh, drinkers. There's really starting to become two camps of craft beer. And I think we're getting to a point where craft beer has been popular for long enough that we're starting to see kind of this division of uh, ideology ideological thinking amongst craft beer. On the one side, you've got the guys who are obsessed with Beer Advocate, obsessed with getting the newest, latest and greatest, super rare. They made two bottles. They fermented it in 76 barrels. I had to stand in the brewery for 14 hours kind of guys who are looking for just the latest and greatest. They'll only drink one thing, untap it, and that'll be the end of it. On the other side, um, you're kind of getting the guys who just want to drink craft beer. They want to enjoy it. They want to drink it socially with their friends. They don't mind sharing bottles. They, you know, they go for the rare stuff. But at the same time, if they can't get it, whatever. You know, they just want to experience craft beer with the masses. They don't really care what people drink as long as, you know, it's, 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 it's what they enjoy. Um, and I guess, that, you know, there is a kind of a middle ground. I kind of fall... I, you know, again, it's one of those things. I started on the left in Beer Advocate a couple years ago, um, realizing there's all this crazy, you know, good beer out there, and you just kind of have to wrap your head around all these and get all these things and just try them. And then I think once you know a couple years goes by and you kind of get to try all those things, and as the craft beer has kind of grown up and more craft breweries have started to brew just these world class beers that are very very widely available, you start to kind of shift. Um, but in the last you know, six months to a year, year and a half, I've noticed that the guys on the left, the beer advocate guys, the rapier people who are just obsessed with these super rare and crazy, they're just becoming big craft beer douchebags. Um, I, I've experienced it a couple times. I know a couple of my friends have as well, where, you know, we've been at a party or whatever, and people will not drink a beer if they've already untapped it. Um, and then they'll sit there and they will criticize everything that everybody is drinking just because it's not this and this and they had this and this was so much better than what is there. Just plain out being douchebags and insulting, you know, the beer or the craft beer or whatever is that there um, just because it's, you know, they've had it and they don't like it as much and, they, they, you know, they've had every single Hill Farmstead beer, or, you know, or whatever, you know, just being complete effing douchebags. Um, and I just think that is so just counterproductive to the craft beer culture. And it, you know, it's a, it's a fairly small market, but I think there's such uh, strongly opinionated people and so douchey that they tend to leave a mark on a lot of people who, like myself, who are just trying, you know, to do do a craft beer with other people, whether I've had the beer or not. Um, and I think, you know, talking to people who are kind of on the, you know, the right side, where it's, you know, more, more just kind of laid back. You drink what we like. We like the style. Sure, we'd love to try new craft beers. And don't get me, don't get me wrong. I have had many, many a times. You know, it happens once or twice a week where I try a beer just to be able to untap it. Don't get me wrong. But that's not my driving force like if I've already had a couple beers I will pick you know on the menu or whatever I'll pick what I like to drink just because I know it's a good time and I'm sharing it with you know people I'm enjoying it with and I, I think it's just a, it's a big kind of annoying growing divide between complete effing craft beer douchebags and people who are just trying to get the word of craft beer out there just trying to you know share craft beer with the rest of the world you know in a non-hostile non-militant type of way just because it's what we really enjoy um, and I, I've kind of start to see you know I don't even know that the beer advocate people really even enjoy the beer as much as they just have to review it um, and, and say they had it and just be able to compare it to what everyone else is drinking. So I don't know. I mean, there, again, there, there, there is a middle ground. Obviously, there is a middle ground. But I just see, you know, the, the left and the right, so to speak. Um, it's probably more like the right and the left. But anyways, uh, so to speak. And what are your thoughts on this? Have you experienced this? Are you one of the beer advocate people? Are you one of the people who just likes to enjoy craft beer? Let me know in the comments section below. Again, this was just something kind of wanted to get off my chest uh it's been something that's been bothering me for a while and you know it's just it's it's stupid i wish we could all just enjoy craft beer who cares what other people are drinking just enjoy what you like to drink and don't be a dick about it you know just don't be a dick about it so with that said remember folks life's too short drink amazing beers cheers